The first firmware update for the EA Vision J150 is finally commercially available. We're gonna go through some of these key aspects of this firmware. Those of you who have a J150 already may have already done this firmware because it is out right now. Uh, those of you who don't, you're gonna learn about some of these features. Uh, let's get into it. So the modules and the actual module updates should be on your screen right now as far as what they are, the app, the UAV, and the CPU. Also, don't forget to check your battery slash power package update for each of your batteries as well. Uh, that's not new, it should be out already, but make sure you double check that while you're doing this for more updates. Okay, EA Vision themselves actually has a video on some of this. Uh, we'll put the link here in the, de the description for EA Visions, but there are a few other things as well. Uh, so first off, you can now take over manually with the sticks. I know in some of our videos you've seen us do this. That has not been available until commercially until this firmware. So very similar to like the DJI system where you don't have to use the switch, the manual rocker switch. You can use just the sticks to take over manual control at any point in time during an autonomous mission. You can switch operation modes on the top left-hand corner of the operation screen. So go from manual to auto to survey to whatever uh, different modes you want to use without having to go back to the home screen. Uh, there are a lot of things added into the settings side. So the top right corner of your screen, that gear icon, uh, the different settings on the drones, the flight settings for after operation, the tank is empty, you can set go home or hover. Uh, same thing if you lose connection. So the missing settings, if you want it to hover, go home or continue the operation. Um, and then resetting the home point. Now the J150 resets the home point every time it takes off, It that's its new home point. But you can also now reset that home point while you're in the air to the RC, so the remote controller position, or to where the drone is currently hovering at uh, its position. There's some spray settings uh, updated. So the uh, flow control update auto spray is using the flow meter, uh, and flow meter override is bypassing the flow meter. This is, a couple, this does a couple things. So it actually uh, can solve if you have an issue with your flow meter, it's not working properly, it's not sensing properly, then you can just override that flow meter, completely bypass it and do a manual calibration. Uh, this is you know to prevent any kind of downtime that has to do with product incompatibility with the flow meter uh, or hardware problems with the flow meter specifically to not keep you grounded because of that one specific problem. And then battery settings as well. Uh, so the battery settings, you can turn on and off the automatic return on low battery. And if you turn it off, then now you can set manually a percentage if you want it to return or if you want it to just do a warning and just ignore the return to home, as well as a low battery forced landing percentage. Uh, so if you want it to force land at anywhere between 5 and 15%, you can set that now manually in the system. There are a few other kind of safety features and whatnot that you're probably not going to notice uh, with the, in these updates. Um, and there's some screen layouts that you probably will notice within these updates. But these are some of the most important key aspects on this firmware. Uh, we work you know, very closely with the EA Vision team, the development team, as well as a number of testers that are spread out across the country uh, to test these firmwares and any other beta firmwares. There are a lot of other cool things coming down the pipe, not just on the J150 uh, app and remote and drone firmware, but also on the data side, the CRMs, we call it the data management side on the cloud side. A lot of cool things coming, so stay tuned. Thanks.